All right, the liner's in. It's time to install our bottom drain. I'll take a look at the tools I've gathered. I have it all on hand right here so I can make my job go smoothly. Uh, I have my sealant. I have a razor blade and some scissors. Sharpie in case I want to make some marks. I got the screwdrivers necessary for a flat head for the hardware with this. I grabbed an impact wrench and um, so I could uh, impact gun so I can maybe make my job go a little faster. Of course, I have my components necessary for putting the bottom drain together, tape measure, and then I have a, a cutting tool because we're going to cut this stem just to the right depth before we're done. So the first thing we want to do is identify the area and I can feel the circle in here. I'm going to go ahead and mark it so it's a little easier for everyone to see. So this is, that's the, the inside of the bottom drain. And just so you know, the outside somewhere in this range. Okay, let me go ahead and outline that. Okay, so there's the outside of the bottom drain. So I'm gonna cut through the middle here so I can see inside. Now the first thing I wanna tell you, I don't, I'm not gonna cut this right to the edge. I'm gonna give myself an opening about like this. And then we'll cut it right to the edge when we complete the seal. But this will give me the opportunity to look inside the hole to make my connections. Okay, so if you remember, we filled this hole up with some underlayment. This might be a little messy here. I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait actually because there was a bunch of water and mud down at the bottom of this. We'll have to shop back out when we're done. Now I have a damp towel so we can clean the surface in here. It's kind of hard to see, but I'm looking inside here and I'm checking to make sure that the underlayment has not made its way onto the onto this piece. You know, there's a there's a piece that we're gonna attach to, and if the underlayment overlaps it somewhere underneath here then it would have a leak right there. So we want to make sure that the underlayment is not gathered anywhere right there. It looks nice and clean in there. Okay, yeah, we're good. Now, when we put the underlayment and the liner down, there a little bit of dust is under the pond. So I have this damp towel and I'm gonna use it to just clean the surface of that bottom drain. So see that I got out of there? I just wanna get it clean. All right. So it's just damp, because I don't want it too wet. I wanna, I wanna go right for my sealant really quick here. So I have that cleaned off. I'm gonna do it one more time before we go. Now, remember these pieces of tape we put in there. I'm going to take all these pieces of tape out. And that, I know my, my ports where my screws are going to go into are not going to be impacted with debris or sand. It really is a pain to get those things clear if you didn't take this extra step. And underneath each one of those tapes, you can see this tape right here on this side. Underneath that tape, I have my black mark so I can identify the, the hole. Yes, okay. So now I'm gonna fold this up just right. My damp, the damp towel. and just pat it with this dry towel.
So now the top of my bottom drain is clean and ready for the attachment. But what's not clean is that the, the bottom of this liner. So while I have it suspended in the air like this, not touching anything, I'm gonna come through with this damp towel and I'm just gonna get a little cleaning on here. Just wipe off, wipe off that talcum powder, the dust, anything that's underneath there. See, I've got a little bit. Now I'll hit it with the dry towel. Now we're all clean and good to go. I'm gonna get the camera up close. I'm gonna have you take a look in here so you can see how clean it is. And then this is where it's good to have an extra set of hands. I'll have someone get down in here and hold this up for me while I go ahead and uh, apply my sealant in there.